This episode is brought to you in part by the Calliopeia Foundation and listeners like you. Calliopeia supports projects interweaving spirituality, culture, and ecology. We are grateful for their support and the support of grassroots contributions from listeners. To learn more about the Calliopeia Foundation, visit calliopeia.org. To make a donation to For the Wild, visit forthewild.world slash donate or support us through Patreon. Hey, For the Wild community, it's Ayana here. Today we are rebroadcasting our episode with Kurt Russo on The People Under the Sea, originally aired in October of 2018. This episode continues to be timely as another Southern resident orca was lost in January of 2020, bringing the population of Southern residents down to 72. Comparatively, the population's historic low was in 1976, amidst the capture era, which Kurt discusses, when there was a total of 71 Southern resident orcas. We are also currently in the midst of a 45-day comment period from February 28th to April 13th, for a draft environmental impact statement on the operation of 14 dams in the Federal Columbia River hydropower system. This is critical because the EIS has to assess dam removal on the Lower Snake, and currently, the draft's preferred alternative is to keep all of the dams in place. Breaching these dams is a key step in restoring wild salmon runs and protecting the remaining southern resident orcas. So please, After you listen to the episode, take some time to submit your public comment before April 13th. Our conversation with Kurt also covers the Lummi Nation's effort to bring Scully Chuck to Nut, an orca who is currently held captive at Miami Seaquarium, back to her natal waters in the Salish Sea. Back in 2018, Scully Chuck to Nut was known as Tokatai, so note that you will be hearing that name used in our conversation. Lastly, I want to mention that this March 21st, 2020, is the first annual Netsimat Day, an indigenous-led event for the Sailor Sea, held at the Washington State Capitol in Olympia. For more information, or if you'd like to attend, you can visit sacredsea.org slash events. You can also visit sacredsea.org to learn more about the Lummi Nation's effort to protect and revitalize the Sailor Sea. Now on to the show. So our 